Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to run formative constructs in Adenco. But first of all, we will have to see the difference between formative and reflective model. In case of reflective model, all the arrows will be moving out of the construct. You can see the second example. The arrows are moving outside. In case of formative, the arrows will be moving inside the construct. This is a technical difference in terms of drawing, but let us see the gra the theoretical difference. Now let us see if a person is drunk, then what are the characteristics which are exhibited by the drunk person? There will be there will be a problem in his speech, there will be a problem in his interaction. He may not be able to walk on the straight line. His reaction rate will be slow. Now these are all the consequences of a person being drunk. So, if your statements are more consequences oriented, then it is a reflective model. On the other side, if I say, if a person wants to get drunk, what are the ways in which he can, he can be drunk? The first is by consuming the beer, by consuming the spirits, by how much time the last alcohol has, uh, has been consumed, what was the fat content of the last meal. So, in case of formative, these are causes for the person being drunk. So, if, you are, if your statements are more causes oriented, it is a formative measurement. One more thing which you should understand is that the statements in case of reflective measurement are having a very high correlation among them because all these characteristics are exhibited simultaneously. While in case of formative, it is not necessary that a, per, a, a person to get drunk, all these things should be consumed simultaneously. One of them is quite enough for a person to get drunk. And therefore, in case of formative measurement, the statements will have a low degree of correlation. Now, what will happen? if we are having low correlation among the statement. So, all the traditional reliability and validity statistics which are there for the reflective measurement will completely fail here because they are based on correlation. You will not be able to run Cronbeck alpha, you will not be able to run average variance extracted, composite ratio, this all will not no longer be a valid statistics. So, we will have to consider the outer weights. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in Adenco. At present, job satisfaction is a reflective measurement, is a reflective construct because the arrows are moving out. Let us change its status by clicking here and making it as an emergent variable. In case of Adenco, emergent variable means it's a formative construct. Let us change all of them. You can see the shapes also changes. Now click on run control R. Make sure you generate the seed, use bootstrapping, generate, save and run. Now click on results. You can directly go on the structural model. Now the thing which you have to observe here is you will not get any statistics related to the reliability and validity. You can see here Cronbeck alpha is not there. Conversion validity that is AV is not generated because it is a formative construct. The only thing which you have to see here at present is the outer weights. Let me try to find out the outer weights. Here it is necessary that the outer weight should be more than 0.5. Okay, then only we should proceed further. So if the outer weight is more than 0.5, we will proceed further. Okay, 
next thing which you, which, which you can see here is the structural model here you will get the path coefficients are there which you can consider moreover you will be also able to get the indirect effect if you have considered anything other statistics which you can consider here are just a minute let us go into the diagram directly yeah r square is generated and you can also consider the r square so this is the way you can work in the formative you can work on formative construct in adenco for more videos on adenco kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please check my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos of adenco please don't forget to press the like button Thank you.